I'm afraid to go back to Ukraine. And probably not for the reason that you think. I am afraid because the last couple of years I have dealt with pneumonia like crazy. We just saw on the news, Gonzalo Lira, Rip Bozo, this guy dies in a Ukrainian prison from pneumonia. A lot of people die from pneumonia in Ukraine. A lot of people die from pneumonia anywhere, especially with COVID. Every single time that I went to Ukraine, three times, I have gotten pneumonia or bronchitis, especially the first time. I thought I was going to die many nights in that in my bed. I was choking on my own phlegm. I, I wasn't able to breathe. It felt like my, my lungs were this big. That's what, that's what it felt like. And it's freaky. It's just been the last couple of years, and I don't know exactly what it's from. During my first visit in Ukraine, I just got back from Iraq, and I was addicted to cigarettes, unfortunately. So I was smoking in between operations. I was, I was enjoying a cigarette or two. But I ended up getting pneumonia about two months into it. On my first mission, I had COVID. So that might have uh, had something to do with it. Maybe it was just like lingering in my system. But there, there's a million different things that could have caused it. Uh, I know a rock, we, we used to burn these tire fires or burn trash right next to our base. The smoke would flood into the tunnels and we're, we're living in this, this tunnel atmosphere. We're digging out these entrances with TNT, which I know is also really bad for the lungs. There's a million different things that, that could be the reasons. It's only been in Ukraine where I get pneumonia and I don't know exactly why. I have one guess, which I'm gonna tell you right now. After the end of my first time in Ukraine, I just got done with my last mission and I was smoked after that mission. I, I just couldn't keep up because of my lungs, I was coughing on phlegm. You can see in my videos as well, where I'm coughing all the time and I'm wheezing. So my medic rightfully makes me go to the hospital. I spent about 10 days there and I spoke about this instance uh, earlier, about two years ago on my channel. But the, the reason that was given to me was that it could be asbestos. There's a lot of asbestos, especially with the bombs exploding, it's gonna kick that up in the air and give you pneumonia. Ukraine was going from cold to hot. There's a lot of uh, weather changes. But one of the biggest reasons given to me by these nurses was that Ukraine just can't do landscaping right now in some of the fields. Ukraine has vast amounts of farmland and because of the mines, because of the UXO, they're not able to retrieve these crops. And they're also not able to do landscaping in a lot of these areas. So the allergies that are built up from these weeds that grow are tremendously bad for people who have seasonal allergies like me. And yeah, I've dealt with this my entire life. I'm almost allergic to grass. When I cut the grass back home at my parents' house when I was growing up, I'd be sneezing for the rest of the day. So that's probably a big reason. Allergies. They just can't trim the farmland anymore. So anyway, I uh, wasn't able to finish that, that dosage of medicine for my pneumonia before I, I went to go and do paperwork. So by the time I got back from paperwork and back, went back to the base, I had pneumonia again. It came back full steam and I had to leave Ukraine because of that. A couple months later, I come back to Ukraine and I decided to do some, some training instead. I was going to join TDI. Great time, great experience. But once again, I catch pneumonia. So I went to the pharmacy. I told them what I had. They gave me allergy medicine. They gave me a bunch of different stuff to go and eh, kind of limit the symptoms, which helped out quite a bit. But I'd be lying to you if I said that it was not miserable. It was miserable to be sneezing, holding and sneezing the entire time I was there as I'm teaching students, as I'm running around, trying to keep up with them, uh, as they're going into the forest or practicing fire move or whatever it is. Another factor that really helped me was I quit smoking at that time. I began using snus, which is very popular in Ukraine, and you just put it in your, in your lip. No tobacco, just nicotine, and it doesn't go into your lungs. You don't get, you can't get pneumonia or you can't get lung damage from taking snus. So snus really helped as well, but it wasn't enough to take away the allergies and it wasn't enough to completely eliminate the risk of bronchitis as I found out. So then I leave Ukraine, take a two month break, see my ex, and I come back to Ukraine for a third time. And this is during the spring, the worst time for allergies for me. So I get there and I'm sneezing like crazy the entire time. I keep using snus. I never vape, I never do any of that, just snus. And it doesn't change. And it got to the point where I went to the hospital, I got blood work done, I got all the done just to figure out what I need. What do I need? Steroids. They give me steroids to get rid of this insane bronchitis and pneumonia that I got on my third trip, probably a month into being in Ukraine. And I, I, I was given steroids when I got back to the US after my first trip. I remember arriving home at the airport, my mom picks me up, and the first thing I ask in between coughs is, before I go home, take me to a hospital. I need to figure out how to get rid of this pneumonia. It is brutal. And there was not enough steroids and there wasn't enough medicine in Ukraine to go and treat me. And a week later, my pneumonia is treated from these steroids. I used steroids on my third trip in Ukraine. I, I think I took about a week off, about five days off, visiting the, the hospital every single day that I could in order to get rid of this pneumonia. I was given these, uh, these injected steroids. And then it got to the point where I want to continue training. I don't want to waste my time. I feel bad not being with the students. Uh, leaving an instructor out to dry as he's trying to teach 30 guys alone. So I come back, but I have the medics that are part of our training program at TDI inject me with steroids 
uh, for the next couple of days. And it helped me quite a bit, but it didn't help me as much as I thought. And I think the reason is because of the allergies. Again, it, it always comes down to the seasonal allergies, which sucks. So as springtime is coming, I'm thinking it would be nice to go back to Ukraine. I want to go back. All my friends are there. I want to support the defense of Ukraine as much as possible. I want to go back. But the allergies there, because of the war, it's, it's unbearable for me. And that's what I'm scared about. When I go back to Ukraine, I need to make sure I have steroids on hand. I need to make sure that I have tons of allergy medication. But the problem with allergy medication is it makes you lethargic and it sort of like calms your mind. And that's not good for war. When you're in, when you're in combat, when you're training students, you don't want to be emotionless. It almost feels like an anti-anxiety med. I've never taken one, but it feels like what I would think that is. It numbs you down to the point where I am not the instructor I used to be. So I, I just don't know what to do. If anybody if anybody has any suggestions, please let me know. I, I know a lot of my friends out there have dealt with pneumonia. I don't know if it's because of seasonal allergies or what it is, but a lot of them. They've dealt with pneumonia, they've dealt with COVID, they've dealt with sicknesses. Because that's what happens when you're with a bunch of different dudes in a barracks, you're living together in these harsh climates and harsh conditions, you're gonna get sick. But my sicknesses, for some reason, seem to be the worst whenever I go there. And it's kind of like a meme. Whenever Rhodey is in these uh, in these countries, I always get horrendously sick, and I don't know why. Yeah, that, that's why I'm afraid. I don't know exactly why this has happened to me all the time, but it is. And I need to watch out for myself. I hate damaging my lungs. I hate the scar tissue that I have to deal with in my lungs now, ever since my first trip to Ukraine. I hate allergies and not being able to train to my full capacity, not being able to conduct operations to my full capacity because I'm, I'm numbed out on my mind. That, that's, that's the big reason. That's why I'm scared to go to Ukraine. It's not the bombs, it's, uh, it's allergies. So anyway, I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Thanks for listening. If you have any advice, let me know and peace.